Hello everyone, I wanted to give you a brief overview of what my big campus is before we really start diving in to the coursework. This is the homepage. The web address for the homepage is just mybigcampus.com. It's super, super easy to remember and you will be given your login information. And so if I were to log in, I would type in T Bauer. My username, I believe it's going to be very similar to what your school login is, but I'll keep you posted on that for sure and log in from here. Feel free to do the option of remember me if you're using a home computer that no one else really has access to. Otherwise, at school, make sure that you don't have that clicked. You don't want anyone going into your account and messing with it. Uh, what about you? Do you think this looks like... Facebook because I really think it does. In fact, people who created my big campus said that they made it to look like Facebook so it would be easier for students to adapt very quickly to. So just like technology in any form, sometimes people, including myself, can be a little bit leery about learning it and feeling comfortable with it. It can be a very overwhelming process. But I'm very confident that you'll be able to pick this up relatively quickly because I feel like although I'm still learning things about my B campus, I really do feel comfortable with navigating the space. So as you can see up here, there's this little house icon. If you click on it, you'll get this page that I was on before. This page looks like the news feed on Facebook if you're familiar with it. Other things that are similar is the search function notifications, quick links, which is something different. If you wanted to link our course page to quick links, you would be able to do that. So it would eliminate some of your browsing time. So just a thought. The account information, most importantly, um, to log out and things like that, you can update profile information from there as well. Just a note on this, I'm logged in from my teacher account, so there are going to be some changes when you're logged in as a student. So just be aware of that as I go through this. Some of the things, because I haven't been able to view the student account, might be a little bit different but they should for the majority of the of the time be very, very similar. So like I said, activity, and there's also a link over here besides the home little house icon. I believe EDU talk is only for teachers. Conversations have to do with messages. I just wanna throw this out here really quickly. Anything that you type or you know, communicate to me or any other student on my big campus is um, viewed and screened through a very strict filter. So anything with profanity, anything that's inappropriate, anything that deals with death or suicide will automatically be flagged and a message will be sent to me and our school administrator uh, to take care of the situation. So just keep in mind that everything that you type on here will be seen by us, can be viewed and accessed and all that good stuff. It is not like Facebook in that constraint. Do not go into my big campus thinking that this is a private arena because it's not. It's just like school. If you were to picture it as a classroom, I like to think of it as a classroom. If I, as a teacher, can walk around and overhear a conversation, I can do the same exact thing on my big campus, only uh, it's through typing, obviously. So speaking of messages, which they called conversations, just like uh, Google email, if I click here, the new message icon, I can go ahead and do my messaging that way. So to get back to my other screen, I'm going to click the home. And then schoolwork, that should show up on your side tab for you to help you keep tabs on that. I believe it will look the same way. I'm not going to bother clicking on it because it will look differently for you. But I'm confident you'll be able to figure it out. Bundles are really cool. This actually reminds me of Pinterest, if you're familiar with that. Now, Pinterest obviously has the separate icons like these. Um, these icons have a lot to do with education, so I'm not sure what yours will come up as. This is obviously K through 12. Something cool that I learned about bundles, I believe you'll be able to do this. There is a yes button that is similar to a like button. There's a share. You can watch so that you can be notified when it's updated. And there's also a branch where you branch this bundle to use it as a starting point for your own. Now notice that just by moving my cursor over these buttons, it tells me exactly what the buttons are for. So I feel 
like my big campus is actually very user friendly. So just in our on bundles. You can also create your own bundle where you just follow through and create all this. I know that like standards are for teachers, obviously, but you could also put them in there because you will be notified of what standards we're working on during the course content. So just an idea on that. And then down here, you'll be publishing it when it's ready to go. I'm a big fan of bundles so far. I'm going to actually skip one to my, uh, my big campus documents. Create a new one. This is a word processor that you can use. I actually don't think we'll be using it a whole lot, but I wanted to show you it anyway because it leaves a lot to be desired in terms of a text uh, document. I think we will have an easier time with using a word and then maybe uploading, but I'm still kind of playing around with this. So if you find a cool way to keep your format in NBC, be sure to let me know. Which leads me right to the tab called Your Stuff. This is what I've been using. It allows you to upload files. So click here to upload files. This way you'll be able to maintain any kind of formatting or font because this is a creative writing course. You'll be able to play around with your font and things like that on occasion. So we really want to keep the personality of your writing through that as well. Not really wanting to limit it based on the NBC docs. So there's a way to click and upload and then share these as well. So if I, this is actually a video, but you can use this as any format. This could also be, this could also be a document. So over here, I can add it to a bundle. Those are my bundles. Okay. And then you'll have to label it and things like that. So that's your stuff. I know there's also a way to filter and to label, add labels, so you can really organize this because I just started using my big campus. I don't have a whole lot in here quite yet, but eventually I will be labeling my stuff. Okay, down to calendar. I haven't started using this yet. As you can see, I don't have any assignments posted quite yet, but what this will look like for you is all of your assignments will be in the calendar, just like the calendar from my website or any other teacher's website, only it's all in one spot. So if you're taking more than one class, let's say you're taking AP US History and you're taking Creative Writing, it will show up here, all assignments on your calendar, which I think is super cool. Uh, then your profile, pretty straightforward. I have a blog. I'm not sure if you have a blog. Uh, I want to direct your attention down here where it says groups. You'll also have groups just like Facebook has groups. There are people. I'm pretty sure you'll have that. I do not believe you'll have topics. I have one group, Bauer Creative Writing, online. So I'm going to click that. And you'll also have this as a group. Here's the home page. There's a link to the website at school and a link to that blog page I just showed you before. Make it pretty easy. I'll be posting announcements, discussions, different pages for resources here. We'll have the calendar view again there and the members, which would be the course members uh, where you will show up once I get my class list. Okay. So again, going back to home, that's really the nuts. Those are the nuts and bolts of it. The only other thing that I wanted to show you is Bob campus. Bob's over here. If you can see him. Okay. Hi, I'm Bob campus and I'm here to help you get the most from your time on my big campus. Let me know if you have any questions. If I click on, on Bob here, Bob's really going to be the go-to person. He's the iTech person. I believe I'm like 95% sure students will also be able to talk with Bob. Here's just an example. You can just post. You can also um, share things and link things and all sorts of stuff to make your question more specific. Here's, a, here's just a comment from Taylor. We'll show all the comments. Notice the timing of Bob, and this is the coolest part about Bob from what I've learned. Um, Taylor posted this 59 minutes ago. Bob replied 56 
minutes ago. Bob is really, really quick about getting back to you. So I, although I'll be here to answer your questions and to help you out a lot with my big campus, I won't always be able to answer you in that timely manner. Let's say you're doing um, your homework while I'm teaching a class or, you know, it's late at night, you're working this class around your schedule. And I understand that. Feel free to ask Bob your questions and things like that. So any, any questions that you have, Bob is your go-to guy. Okay. So those are the nuts and bolts of my big campus. The other thing that you could do besides Bob for troubleshooting would be to go to YouTube. So I'm just going to go to YouTube here really quickly and type in my big campus tutorials. Here's one on your stuff adding files. Here's one about adding websites, adding YouTube videos. Okay, so there are various resources that you can use besides emailing me and besides posting on Bob Campus's wall. All right, so that's it. That's all for now. I'll probably be posting more for our resources as I learn things and as I gain access to more student information on my big campus. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day.